I am recording this uh, so that we can help those who are not able to be present, but I would encourage you to stick around uh, till the end because I will be doing FAQ. And if you've ever found it difficult <clears throat> to find someone you can trust in the world of investing, business, finance, et cetera, um, I, hope to, I hope to cure that problem today. Um, unless you're already one of my members, then uh, that's fine. But I want to extend an opportunity uh, to those of you who have never been able to crack the code on crypto before. Um, and I do have that invitation available at the end of the call. So, um, hey, hey, Vernon. Yep, yeah, uh, everybody's muted. You're good. Good to see you. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to get started with the primary content of this training. And uh, as we go, like I said, feel free to use the chat as the repository for questions if you have them this is a uh an i could i could do an hour long module training module probably on every slide that i'm about to show you okay so the the focus and the idea behind this training today is how to pick winning cryptos now so that you can enjoy future bull markets. Now, I'm going to give you a lot of, I'm going to throw a lot of tools and resources at you and um, uh, strategies, tactics, if you will. They all can be synthesized to achieve literally what I've got on the screen right now. Okay, so practice makes perfect. You're not going to, this isn't, we're not playing the lottery here with crypto. What we're doing is we are, basically manufacturing our own luck, uh, for lack of better words. As a matter of fact, something fun that I wanted to share, if you guys will permit me um, a, a quick indulgence, uh, I want to share one thing that's fun. My name, uh, before I dive into that, my name is Josh Rhodes. For those of you who don't know me, I'm the founder of Crypto Y'all, uh, the creator of the Crypto Flywheel Method, and I'm the lead crypto consultant and coach slash trainer for uh, the Get Paid Daily cohort and mastermind. So that's kind of what I do full time. And I'm happy to dive into this content with you today and hopefully help you find breakthrough in your own crypto portfolio. Now, um, the fun thing, this is literally almost off topic, okay? This is just an icebreaker to get our emotional um, uh, appetites and our intellectual motors moving a little bit. This is a random altcoin that me and a few of my friends who are into technical analysis, we're not going to talk about technical analysis too much today, but um, a couple of days ago, I bought this uh, where my arrow is pointing. Uh, it was under a penny. We're, uh, we're at two and a half pennies now. This is highly speculative. The coin is called Dino. Uh, it's an Ethereum-based coin. For those of you who are versed in decentralized exchanges, you can swap it at Uniswap. I'm not recommending this as a buy right now because the pump has already happened to some extent. I think it will go up. This was from this morning, the screenshot. I think it's going to go up probably to 0 0.04, maybe 0 0.038. That's where I'll be taking profit. Um, but I've over doubled my money so far, uh, which is really good. So over 100% return uh, in a couple of days. And um, while I haven't taken profits, if if you're one of my members and you see this and you got in on this deal, I, I kind of give signals in, in our Discord group. Uh, we have a trade ideas channel. And I dropped this in there and just said, hey, not telling you what to do. I think this coin's about to break out. And it did. And this is just one of those fun examples that we get to uh, use our skills that we've acquired, our crypto skills that we've acquired to um, manifest, if you will, to practice good investing. And so the biggest thing I'll say right here, and again, this is really off topic and really off the beaten path of what we're actually talking about today. And feel free to drop any questions that you have as we go here. I, I promise I'll get back to them. 
Uh, I'm just multitasking. But the 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 great part about this is I know my profit taking strategy. And while that's not part of my itinerary or curriculum today, the, here's the biggest, because I speak to two to four people a day, whether they're my members or they're people applying for my mastermind. I, I speak to two to four people a day who are uh, victims of their own uh, lack of profit taking strategy. And so profit taking strategies, just very simple, a simple profit taking strategy is when you make an investment, go ahead and earmark milestones. Think about an Everest um, mountain hiker, right? Someone who is climbing Mount Everest. They have base camps up the mountain, very much like this. This looks like the face of a mountain, right? Well, as you go up the mountain, you need to identify price points that you go, okay, when it gets to 0.015, I'm going to take 40% off the table and, and start to ROI and recover your investment capital so that then you're basically dealing with house money after that those you know base camp one or base camp two. You get to you get to write that script. There's no prescribed percentages. I'm literally just making that up, but just think through in your head what's your strategy going to be so that your profit taking strategy will um will um hotwire. Uh, your ability to emotionally sabotage your portfolio with greed, fear, uncertainty, or doubt, okay? Oftentimes, we hold on to what we purchase for too long, and we'll ride it up to the top and feel really euphoric and awesome and rich, and then we just keep holding it. And then it goes down. It's like, oh, it'll come back up. And then it goes down some more. Oh, it'll come back up. Oh, it goes down some more. And, oh, it'll come back up. And, and then you're at the bottom of the market, like where we are at the time of this recording. And you might have been one of those people who bought Bitcoin last year. Well, 40% of the current Bitcoin holders bought in 2021 during the last bull market, or at least the, 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 the phase of the bull market. And so now that their Bitcoin is down, they feel bad about their investment. Now, good thing is Bitcoin's a long-term hold. Dino, I don't know about that. I literally don't know about that. They have a they 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 do check some of the boxes I'm going to take you through, but uh, this is just a fun example. I'm not telling you to invest in this token. I just want to be very clear. You can emulate the, these kind of returns and these kind of performances without being a day trader just by exercising what I'm about to show you over the next few minutes, okay? So give me a one in the chat box. If you understand, I'm not telling you to invest in this, that we're about to acquire skills just so that we're on the same page. Audio visual is clicking. I know that I hear you. You know that I hear you and we're on the same page. So use the chat box. I wanna be uh, communicating with you back and forth throughout the training and we'll make the most of this, okay? So I'm gonna move forward. And like I said, if you have questions, I will answer them. Um, we're going to have an FAQ at the end. So don't worry about that. We're going to rock and roll uh, and have a great time. All right. So um, next up, I want to talk about just you for a second. I want to talk about what's important. First things first, question for you. What is your desired outcome? A lot of people get into crypto as if they walked into the uh, Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas, okay, without a strategy, with some money in their pocket, and they just start putting coins in the slot machines. They start throwing 50 on red, whatever. You need to think with the end in mind. When you're investing, it's especially in crypto, we're dealing with things like blockchain technology, algorithm, uh, AI, smart contracts, things that are way above my head technically, but they create predictability. And let me write that down if you need to remember that. But this asset class of crypto has more structural differences in it than the stock market, life insurance, uh, uh, businesses. Uh, golds, precious metals. There's more structural differences in this crypto asset class than there are in the others. 
And a, a big breakthrough, the reason why it's a big deal is cryptography, blockchain, smart contracts, all programmable money, all of the stuff that comes along with crypto investing. That's what we're able to take advantage of. And a lot of times, a lot of times that allows us to reverse engineer outcomes more predictably and more frequently, okay? So you got to start with the end in mind. So what is your desired outcome? That is like, what's your number? Do you have a, a lump sum number in your head that you're just like, I want to get to that someday? Or do you have a monthly number in your head? Hey, I want to create this amount of income for my family, my household, my retirement, my vacation fund, whatever that is. Uh, maybe you're paying for colleges. Maybe you're paying for elderly parents. It doesn't matter. If you don't start with the end in mind, it's going to be really, you're going to find yourself frustrated. You're going to find yourself frustrated with market volatilities, with missed opportunities. You're going to find yourself FOMOing into opportunities that you shouldn't be. I gave you a test at the beginning here by sharing uh, that coin with you. That was a FOMO test. If you if you if you jumped off the screen and went and bought uh, that token, that that is a, 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 a an area of psychological cor uh, construction that you need to that you need to pay attention to because that ship has sailed for many people. Now, will it keep going up? Yeah, possibly. But my point is, just because you see somebody bragging about their their gains, that doesn't mean it's time for you to jump in there. It means it's time for you to exercise the muscle fibers that you've created up here so that you can go find the next opportunity more easily, more efficiently, and more frequently, okay? But nothing matters unless you have a desired outcome. And that includes two variables, a dollar amount and a date. Put a time constraint on it, okay? Okay. How much do you want to make and by what point in the future? That's one of the big things that my members do when they join my program is they state a ferociously specific desired outcome. Okay, I'm going to keep moving here. Um, I've already asked you if you have a number. If you do have a number and you want to share it in the chat, I'd love to see that. Like what's, a, what's an earning amount or a monthly uh, amount that you want to just create uh, income or lump sum from crypto? Feel free to drop that in the chat. I'll, I'd love to interact with that here in just a minute. Um, yeah, maybe you want to just stack highly valuable crypto that will go up in value each cycle. What it takes to do that is not luck. It's not filling out the bingo sheet at the gas station. It's not buying the lottery ticket, okay? It's actually way more practical than that. It, 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 there's, there's some really low-hanging fruit. If you have an internet connection and a computer or a phone, you can pretty much do everything I'm about to show you. Uh, well, you can do everything I'm about to show you without a doubt, but I think you can do it all on a phone is, is my point. So regardless, whether you're on mobile or desktop, I want to show you what I do to stack valuable crypto um, and I'm going to give you a few, a few free tools. I'm going to show you um, all kinds of stuff today. So just buckle up, get ready to uh, absorb this. All right. Now, I want to make sure you understand a very basic hierarchy in crypto. Uh, when it comes to your personal responsibility as a crypto investor and uh, as a steward of your own portfolio and as uh, someone who is uh, carrying the torch for the philosophy of crypto. Now, if you don't know what the philosophy behind crypto is, let me let me make it very clear. It it is the greatest expression of individual responsibility and sovereignty that we've ever known uh, on our planet. Financial sovereignty uh, and individual custodian custodial control of your treasury is what crypto promotes. That, that is a very important understanding because there are three types of account. We'll call them accounts. You know, I get a, a lot of times people say, Hey, what platform do you trade on the most? Or what do you, what, what platform do you, your members uh, in your mastermind use? 
And honestly, we're platform agnostic to, to, to most, to, to pretty much the extent of things, but there are types of platforms you need to have. Okay. So uh, I want to identify three things that you need just to be an active, productive member in the crypto society so that you can, um, invest in and out of uh, these awesome opportunities that are in the crypto market, whether you're in a bear market or a bull market. I want to show this to you. It's a little bit of a food chain, okay? You've got central exchanges, you've got hot wallets, and you've got cold wallets, okay? Real quick, I joke about this sometimes. Uh, central exchanges, that's your Coinbase's, your Binance's, your Gemini's, uh, you know, your, your, the, your, they, they act as the on-ramp from U.S. dollar or Canadian dollar or Australian dollar or British pound fiat currencies that are issued by governments. We take those to central exchanges and we swap them for the crypto of our choosing, Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Chainlink, Polygon, yada, 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 yada. Okay. Then we off-ramp there too. If we want to sell for our fiat currency and send it back to our traditional bank account, that's what we do, all right? Central exchanges are like public restrooms though. They, they serve a purpose, but you don't want to live there, okay? So make sure you're not storing your crypto, no matter how big or small your, ba your balance is. Now, if you're cool with, uh, you know, Celsius or BlockFi mismanaging their balance sheet, over leveraging their debt and then not having enough liquidity to pay out their withdrawals that are requested. And then your money gets wrapped up in their malfeasance, then be my guest, right? But there are other ways around it because when you have your money stored on a central exchange, that's considered a custodial relationship. Crypto is all about a non-custodial trustless banking system, a system of peer-to-peer -peer, uh, transfer and self-storage that doesn't require trust because the blockchain does all that for us. So the next tier down is a hot wallet. Why is it called hot? Well, it's an internet-based wallet. It's your wallet. You have the private code, the private password recovery phrase. You have uh, the private keys, not your keys, not your crypto. Hot wallets, that's your wallet. Coinbase doesn't control it. Gemini doesn't control it. Binance doesn't control it. You control it. And the only people who can hack into it are people that you make careless mistakes to, uh, with and you give them access to it. Now, there are definitely ways for hackers to get into hot wallets. It's unlikely, but can be frequent depending on uh, how good you set up your two-factor authentications, and et cetera. So there's a third tier. Um, of self storage, which is your cold wallet. Okay. Now, like I said, this is optional, but highly recommended. The best $149 that I've ever spent is this little device here. Um, I'll go off of screen share for just a second, just so I can show you this in more uh, real time. This is my Ledger Nano X. Um, it is my cold wallet. When I plug it in, that screen lights up. There are two physical buttons here. They're analog. It's old-fashioned technology, right? When you, The screen looks like a, a cell phone from the late 90s when you turn it on. The idea here is that a hacker can't hack into this because they're not in the room physically to type in your nine-digit code to withdraw any, any, any numbers, any any. Um, crypto assets or property that you own in cold storage. Now, all of that is just, that's the fundamental ground balls and pop flies that you guys need to be exercising as crypto investors moving forward. And they're pretty much non-negotiables when it comes to the things I'm about to share with you. So write those down. If, you, if you're, uh, you, you can move forward without a cold wallet, it's just you're operating on a level of, I guess, risk that, especially in bear markets, I'm uncomfortable with. But in any market, you really need to have your own custodial control, okay? All right, um, next, let's get into the meat and potatoes here. Um, you're going to need some good research intel on trends and use cases, all right, when it comes to crypto and picking cryptos 
that are winners. Okay. So I've got two free tools that I want to share with you that I use quite literally every day. Uh, I'm a full-time investor, full-time enthusiast, full-time educator. So if uh, I hope that if these are good enough for me, they're good enough for you. And it's just a matter of using them and using them appropriately. Um, but you don't always have to pay big premiums for these uh, online tools. The first one's coinmarketcap.com. Okay. Now I'm just gonna I'm gonna escape the screen here and I'm gonna jump over to. Coin market cap. Okay. So you should be able to see this uh, front and center. Coin market cap is a, um, a marketplace index, for lack of better words. And on its homepage, you're going to find the top 100 cryptos uh, in order by size in market cap. Okay. Market capitalization. That's literally like the, the volume, depth, and breadth of adoption in the marketplace. Currently, Bitcoin is the lead sled dog with 326 billion in market cap during the bull market a year ago this was a trillion dollars and to give you context gold the traditional precious metal that many countries are moving their uh, fiat currency backing to uh, gold is about a 10 or 11 trillion dollar market cap to give you some some context so the, here's the here's the wonderful thing about that crypto we're still early about 5% of the world has a crypto wallet and it's going to lift billions out of poverty alone. And whenever those billions of productive people come online, because they don't have access to traditional banking systems and especially in, you know, uh, third world countries, other continents, et cetera, certain political regimes, when those productive individuals across the planet start adopting this more and more simply because they get an internet connection, they're going to start adopting Bitcoin. They're going to start, this is not even governments, you know, we just had Brazil ratify it. UK is finalizing regulations right now. Uh, the US is behind the eight ball, but when regulations come into play, you got pension funds, you got sovereign wealth funds that are going to flood the market with trillions of dollars. And it's going to just simply astronomically catapult the prices because market caps are going to balloon massively. Okay. Uh, price is simply a, um, a calculation between circulating supply and market cap. And so the uh, more rare the coin is, the less in circulation and the higher the market cap, supply and demand takes over and price goes up. And that's kind of what we're dealing with. But how do we use coin market cap to find the big opportunities? Well, this might sound extremely fundamental and basic, but this is one of my favorite ways to do it. One logical thing you just need to understand and you can, if you have any investment experience in the stock market, this will help. But, you know, if you want to get 10x gains, if you want to get 5x gains, if you want to get big multiples in the stock market, you're probably not going to go buy IBM. IBM or, you know, uh, one of these traditionally Procter & Gamble, Coca-Cola, awesome Warren Buffett type stocks, right? Like you're going to get, you're going to get growth over time for real. But in crypto, we have this thing called velocity, momentum, and early adoption. And we have this opportunity to get asymmetrical upside, meaning the reward ratio to the risk ratio is just out of balance. You have way more reward um, in relation to the risk that you can take on. It may require less capital to make more money than you can in other asset classes. Again, this is not financial advice. This is simply my commentary on how I perform my portfolio with my portfolio in the market. I'm in two asset classes, technically three because I'm a business owner, but really two when it comes to my passive investments where I want my money to go work for me. And that's real estate and crypto. Okay. Crypto for me, Crypto is where it's at because you can get, if you know what you're doing and you don't have to have a Ivy League degree to know what you're doing. I certainly don't. I'm from Nowhereville, Alabama. So if that tells you anything. I've just had an incredible run over the last five or six years um, with four digit return percentage returns on my portfolio. And now I'm in love with this asset class and coin market cap is quite literally something I look at every single day. 
So you want to get acquainted with this website. And one of the most basic things that I want to show you here is to just scroll down and um, find lower market cap. So this is really kind of like your home base for research is the way I would think about coin market cap. Okay. And you want to find lower market caps because the lower the market cap, the more risky it is, but also the bigger upside there is. Okay. How do you mitigate risk with lower market caps? I'll talk about that in just a second, but let's just look at this. Okay. The top two dogs are Bitcoin and Ethereum by a long shot. And even up here, you can see this fun metric called dominance. Bitcoin used to be like over 50% easily. Ethereum's starting to edge up on it. Ethereum is the, uh, the, the largest altcoin on the planet. It's at 18%. Uh, Bitcoin's dominance is at 38% and it's sliding. That just means there's going to be probably a larger market cap with Ethereum in the next two years or three possibly than Bitcoin. That doesn't mean it's more valuable. They, they serve different purposes. Okay, so back to my point. As I scroll down, I'm in the top 25. I'm going to leave the top 25. I'm going to go through the top 50. You can see I'm getting in the 1 billion now. And now I'm going to get below a billion. And the lower I go in these market caps, the higher the potential upside that they have. But just because it has a low market cap doesn't mean that it's going to outperform the market. It doesn't mean that it's ever going to go up in price ever again. This is simply a metric, not the metric to look at when you're trying to make decisions on what you want to invest in. Now, let's see. Um, one thing that I, let me let me scroll up here. Let me let me go back up to the top 15, tw top 20. OK. Three billion dollar market cap of Chainlink. All right. Uh, full disclosure. Chainlink makes up a, a massive percentage of my portfolio. Um, I love it. I'm not shilling it to you. It's a large market cap. If you go buy it, $500 worth of it, it's not going to make a big difference in my, my piggy bank. But um, it's an Oracle service. It, its job, its utility, its use case, which is a hint of what you need to be looking for. It's, it, does it have an ability to create business income? The way you need to look at all these coins out there is basically software companies. They're basically tech companies. Everything except Bitcoin. Bitcoin is not a company. It is truly the most dis decentralized uh, investment you could you can make on planet Earth. Everything else is an altcoin, alternative coin, and it is basically like buying Microsoft or um, you know any other any other tech company. Um, in the late 90s. All right. Back to Chainlink. Just an example. It's got a three and a half billion dollar market cap. If I click on Chainlink, it's going to take me to the profile. I can get a ton of data here, including summary descriptions, what's going on, background, et cetera, connected to the, the various things. I'm going to talk more about their socials here in a minute. But um, I can see their all-time highs. I can look at their track record. You know, I think their all-time high, if I scroll down here to the price statistics, uh, is somewhere in, if I hit show more, is somewhere in like the 50, $52.88. Okay, so if, like, this is, again, basic. This is literally just like fundamental, non-conclusive, but gets you in the ballpark. I've got a top 20 coin here. It's all-time high is $52. It's at $7.11 right now. Personally, I think it's a bargain, a bargain buy. And here's why. I got to come back to my convictions. Do I believe that Bitcoin is going to be at 16 or 17K in the next 18 to 24 months? The answer is absolutely not. Why? Because we have the Bitcoin happening happening in about 450 days. That ushers in every bull cycle every four years because they have the amount of circulating or mineable supply of Bitcoin. Again, um, 
exponentially reducing circulating supply, making the price go through the roof. I think Bitcoin will see new all-time highs in the next two years, anywhere between $100,000 and $200,000. Again, total speculation on my part. You're, you are your own financial advisor. But if that's true, and if you look back on the cycles of Bitcoin and its prices over the last 13 years, it keeps just, it'll crash, go up, crash, go up, crash, go up. And every time we're at places like we are right now, everybody's like, it's over, it's over. It's not. It's actually the perfect time to be starting to increase your positions because this is when Warren Buffett says, be greedy when others are fearful and be fearful when others are greedy. If Bitcoin goes back up to a one, one and a half, two trillion dollar market cap, the way it works and the way it has always worked with crypto is that the liquidity, that is the money in the market, it's kind of like a roller coaster. And uh, you know how there's a lead car on the roller coaster and it's going uphill at the very beginning, you know, the, 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 the anticipation phase. The second car is Ethereum. The third car currently is Tether, fourth BNB, you know, and so on. Well, as Bitcoin goes up the hill steeper and steeper, that liquidity just rolls out of that roller coaster cart into the ones following it all the way back and down. The, and as that liquidity rolls down, these prices go up, these market shares go up, market caps go up. And so I believe that Chainlink has a very bright future. So if I'm just doing some rough napkin calculation, I at least think that Chainlink has a five, potentially 10x opportunity in the next short period of time, if you're thinking from a traditional investment standpoint. I mean, 18 to 24 months is a, is just extremely fast. Uh, we were raised to think that S&P 500 was the gold standard of investments. You can make 9 to 15% a year on that over 30 years if you stay in the market long enough. So again, that's just one way to like think, but maybe you're not interested in the 5Xs or the 10 X's. Maybe you're only interested in the 50 X's and the 100 X's because you've got a little bit of a degen in you, right? You, you got that morsel of greed that you want to catch the next FOMO coin and make millions. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's probably not going to work out for you unless you have enough exposure to exercise the 80-20 principle. That is 20% of your coins are going to create 80% of your profits. All right. So let's just do a fun little exercise here and, and let's scroll down to the really low market caps. Okay. This is going to be the top 100 on page one. Okay. We've got a $279 million market cap here at number 100. And some of these you'll, you'll recognize again, Market cap and prices are not the only parameters. I have more to share with you here in a second. I'm just kind of, I'm spitballing with you for a second. By the way, in the chat, is this help? Like, is this helpful to just kind of hash this out? Yes or no? I just want to know if this is like what you came for, because I just want to make sure you guys are getting what, what you signed up to get. Okay. All right. So um, if you want to go after the larger asymmetrical gains and you're cool with more risk and volatility okay you need to just be able to like coexist with volatility all right like for example this is the coin i mentioned in some of my pre pre-call uh or at the beginning of the call it's at two and a half cents right now all right there's a, this is a, there's a lot of volatility. It only launched, you know, a month ago and it's just getting some adoption. There's a little bit of what we call the J curve here. They're coming out of it. There's some, there's some developments. There's a lot of background you don't know about, but look, there's volatility here. You know, if you put a thousand dollars in right here and you're, you're, you're cashed out, I hope, but then you're dropping down, you're losing almost over a hundred percent value uh, over here. You know what I mean? Like, or 50% or value. And so you, you got to be okay. With, but now we're back up here. This market cap, guys, is 8.2 million. It was 6.2 million yesterday. So the lower the market caps, the more, the less liquidity there is. 
and the less liquidity there is, um, it's kind of like taking an airplane, a small Cessna airplane into the uh, choppy air after a storm versus taking a massive commercial airline into the air after a storm. You know, the air, you might, you're going to feel some turbulence and volatility in the big airliner, but you're really going to wish you weren't in the air if you're in a Cessna. But in, in investing, if you want to get the 100x opportunities, you got to be willing to, to travel there in the low cap stuff. This top 100, like we're still not in the lowest cap. Like if you want 100x, you need to get down here in like the 50 million um, market caps. And so you just sort by millions. Let's see. Yeah. So like under 100 million basically is where you want to be. And then you want to start doing your research. Okay. Like I just spotted one that I have in my portfolio, which is new cipher. Okay. Um, again, not, not shilling. Uh, I'm not telling you to buy this. Um, it's a 10 cent coin. There's a reason why it's a 10 cent coin right now. It's got a lot of work to do. It's got a lot to prove. You can see you can connect to their socials or mainly their website. This is an official listing. They have to get approved and qualify and apply to be listed on um, coin market cap. But this is a cryptographic infrastructure for privacy. Well, okay, the reason why I'm the reason why I'm invested in this is because I know the day and age that we live in, there are massive privacy concerns, okay? Um, if you go back to uh, Facebook's lawsuit over Cambridge Analytics, uh, Analytica and all that mess and just whatever, blockchain is an answer that fixes a lot of what Web 2 messed up. Web 3 is coming along to redeem that. New Cypher, in my opinion, very small company, very, very much a lot to prove. Um, that's okay. So it's in pro So I do some research there. Okay. Now, what I'm about to do the rest of the time is I'm going to teach you how to research, uh, at least how to do some 101 research. But this is kind of how I find stuff is I, I sit there and I go, okay, um, what potential gains do I want to get? And you don't want to go after 100x gains on every investment you make. You need some stability. There's ways to, to, to design your portfolio. I, I have portfolio designs, uh, you know, in, in pie graphs and things available for my members. But there's various portfolio strategies that you can uh, go after. You know, maybe you want 50% stable coins, 25%, you know, low market caps, and 25% blue chips. Blue chips being, you know, your top 10, top 20s. Um there, you just need to know how you want to design your portfolio because it's not the same for everyone, right? You need to take control over what your outcome, uh, the outcome that you want. And so, but like most of these are trash. I just want to be really clear. Um, just because they're listed on coin market cap doesn't mean they're going to succeed. Uh, another one I like here is Alluvium. Uh, it's a $77 million um, market cap. It's a video game uh, studio. It's one of the um, soon to be first of its kind AAA rated video game um, studios for crypto and play to earn Web3 gaming. You got to ask yourself, is Web3 going to be a part of the future? I mean, is, is, is video game or video games going to be popular in the future? I can only imagine that they were, they're going to exponentialize in popularity. You know what I mean? So I'm looking, I own Alluvium. Um, there's a lot of things like that, but you know, the price is at $44. Uh, let's see what it's all time high is. Yeah. Over 1800. So the, the prices are, you know, just because they have low market caps doesn't mean that their prices are going to be low all the time. You just got to know where it is on the grid. Treat each crypto as a different Petri dish, um, a different laboratory. They're all different use cases, different uh, ways to look at these. Okay, I had I, I need to move on. Uh, I hope that's helpful. Uh, I have an, I have another tool that I want to share with you real quick, and but we won't go in, in into it as deep. And that is dbank.com. A store. Uh, a question that I get a lot is Josh, how do you keep up? Like, how do you track what's in your wallet, what you own, et cetera? Do you use a spreadsheet, et cetera? And I did use a spreadsheet for a long time. 
But now I pretty much use DBank um, and uh, give you a, a view of DBank. It's free. Coin market cap free. DBank free. All you have to do is connect your hot wallet to DBank and it'll tell you what's in it. Okay. This is one of my gosh, I've got like 10 hot wallets. Okay. This is one of my more degenerate wallets where I keep my high risk, high reward stuff. Um, now uh, it's gonna it's gonna separate your portfolio by networks. So there, if you don't know in crypto, there's various platforms, layer ones and layer twos, different networks, Avalanche, Polygon, Binance. Kronos, Ethereum, obviously being the granddaddy of them all. And then it's going to break them all down for you. And it's just going to show you your holdings based on different um, investments that you have. Great way to keep track of it. Uh, this is also, um, they've got some features that rolling out for their paid, uh, their, 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 their paid stuff like tracking whales. But one little trick is, uh, let's see, if I go to home... Click on Ethereum. Any if you click on um, any particular, I'm trying to remember how I did this the other day because they changed the interface. Okay, if I go up here in the search and I type in, let's say Chainlink, uh, L I N K. Oh, that's users. They changed the interface on me. Hang on, search. There's a way to look at whales easily. I want to look at um, sand whales. Okay, yeah, this is it. So if you click on the asset itself, Sandbox is a, a polygon-based Web3 game, and you can find uh, users and their net worth in volume or dollars in of what they of how much sand that they own this coin okay then you can click on them and see what's in their wallet and um it's pretty interesting you can you can follow a rabbit trail that way so anyway i gotta get back i gotta get back on the on, on track here just for time purposes but dbank.com freeway there's other competitors of dbank um dime a dozen you can upgrade. They got all kinds of features, super, um, super helpful. And just if you're one of those people who just get overwhelmed and you want to stay organized, um, dbank.com is great. Okay. I suggest a checklist to help you evaluate what's good, a good investment. Okay. And um, I'm going to give you that checklist here, at least the modified version of the checklist that I give to my members uh, is a part of my get paid daily mastermind. Um, and this checklist is really the difference between you and a gambler that I, I don't know how else to say it, honestly. So uh, take notes, write this down, make sure you synthesize this with your um, crypto investing. The first checklist that I always look at is community metrics because Adoption is a uh, basically a result of how big their community is, how engaged their community is, and how loyal their community is. So I'm going to go to Twitter because Twitter is where just basically the town square of crypto. I'm going to look at how much how many followers they have. Uh, are they highly engaging? Do they get a lot of replies? They do they have a lot of retweets? Are they hey, it's basically popularity contest is what we're looking at. Um, same thing with their Discord group and their Telegram group. I want to see how many users they have. I want to see if their their groups are growing and you can just like check in every few days. Um, I never encourage you to just find a crypto and throw some money at it. Find a crypto and watch it for two or three days. Don't FOMO in. Don't feel like you're going to miss out on everything. What goes up must come down. Markets move in waves and so do prices, okay? If something pops up 50%, good chance it's going to retrace back down to 30%, 20%, maybe 50%. Again, you can re-enter a position and get the next uh, leg up. But community metrics are huge, you know? Check out their website. There's there's easy ways now on, on the internet to see what kind of website traffic they have. Um, lots of free tools to analyze that. Just see what their trading volume is. 
check out like just literally are these people penetrating the market because if they are it's going to show up in their community metrics if you go to their twitter profile and there's 50 followers well then you can bet your bottom dollar there's there's not a lot of liquidity there even if they have the the prettiest website on the planet if they don't have a community they don't have investors if they don't have investors, they don't have liquidity. And if they don't have liquidity, you don't want to be a part of that because then if you want to go sell, there's no one to take your bags. So make sure you get involved in communities that are growing. It's very much like when you start a business. You want to start a business in a, in a niche or an industry that's hungry for what you provide and it's growing. Now transfer that knowledge over to a community. Is the community hungry for what that crypto is offering or that, that utility? And is that community growing? Is, it, is there a level of virality? And these are kind of the areas that I go glance at over a few days period before investing. All right, moving fast here. I want to look at their founding team because if you've ever heard of people getting scammed in crypto, the reason why is because they're investing in protocols that may not even have a, a public facing leader and um, scam projects almost never get tied back to real people. Okay. Now, does that mean I never invest in cryptos that I don't know who their founders are or their founders aren't doxxed? No, I definitely have a risk tolerance that allows me to look at other things on my checklist and go, okay, I can overlook the fact that the founding team is not doxxed. I have some very successful investments that I've been in for a long time whose founders are not publicly doxxed. And the reason why they do it is for security reasons. You've got, you know, all those crazy people all, all around the world putting money at play in their project. And if money goes down, some people are crazy enough to go hunt people um, and blame them for their loss of funds and their lack of man or their mismanagement of their own money. So um, that's just something I take into consideration, but Another thing that you want to look at is you want to verify founders and see if they're involved in other projects or have been in the past. Like what's their track record? You know, um, uh, it's not worth taking on additional risk of anonymous projects because there's so many good projects to choose from already. What I mean by that is if you go to CoinMarketCap and you look in the top left corner, there are 21,000 altcoins circulating now. OK, if you're one of those people who have a uh, who, who who are not cool with risk, then I would definitely make sure you're investing in projects that uh, have fully doxed founders. And then lastly, watch interviews of the founders, the senior developers. Um, if possible, it's it's very helpful. I, I do interviews with some of the leaders of different projects in, for my members during our weekly coaching call. And that's been so helpful. Um, for, for our confidence level in some projects uh, and, and all, honestly for our ongoing education. Uh, we're all in, in, in the crypto y'all ecosystem. I consider us all learning leaders. Uh, we never know it all. Uh, next thing on the checklist is white paper. Uh, sounds extremely boring. Sounds very academic, but this is literally to me the secret like skeleton key that unlocks all the doors. Because this is their manifesto. This is what they're going to do. You might find some white papers that are one pages, one pagers. You might find some white papers that are three pagers. You might, some, you might find some that look like a doctoral thesis that you'll never be able to read all, all of. The really good ones are about three to five pages. Sometimes they are set up on a, a, a tool like GitHub that you can flip through really quick and but overall, they're going to provide all of the basic functions and roadmaps. Um, you know, uh, do we know where they're going with the utility? Does it have a use case? What's this thing for? Like, it's almost like a, it's almost like a birth certificate, a social security number, um, and uh, you know, in a in a in an ID, uh, all wrapped up into one. It's going to tell us everything we need to know about this and the potential vision and future of our investment. So. Check it out. I'm going to just quickly read my bullet points here. Is there a reason for the community to stay? The white paper will tell you that. It's going to walk you through the reasons. Are, are the marketed functions and features 
that are marketed on the website explained in the white paper. So this is actually an interesting point. If they're saying one thing on the website and then you go to the white paper and nothing about that is mentioned, then that's a red flag. They might be trying to bait you in uh, with some kind of sexy feature that is not does not exist yet and is never going to exist. Okay, so be heads up there. Uh, what kind of roadmap do they have, right? So like, what are the future developments going to look like? What stage of development are they currently in? Figure out where you are on the timeline with each investment because they may be developing new things. There is a phrase in investing called buy the, um, excuse me, buy the rumor, sell the news. That's a, that's a real thing. Well, rumors and news are a part of the, the timeline, the stages of development. So knowing where you are, for example, Ethereum uh, had its merge back in September, right? You may or may not have heard about that, but it was the most significant, um, I guess, production of 2022 in, in, the world, in the world of altcoins. Well, Ethereum's price skyrocketed over the summer leading into it by the rumor. And then afterwards, it has plummeted, sell the news. Well, if you bought it the day before the merge, you literally handed your money over to everyone else who was selling and they got they got away with profits and now you're down, you know, 40, 30%. And that's how it goes. You need to know where you are in their development cycle, in their, in, in their news cycle. And then is there a plan laid out for tokenomics? Tokenomics is just another word for like uh, how the economics work inside the project. What's creating revenue for them? How do they profit share? Why does the price go up? What would make the price go up? Things like that. You want to dig into the tokenomics and good white papers cover that, okay? Some other miscellaneous things. KYC, which stands for know your customer. If you find founders or develop, senior development teams on these uh, cryptos that are not doxed, they're not public facing, they can order a service, a KYC service that comes in and the KYC company knows who they are. So if they run off with your money, um, they can be tracked down. The, the third, their third party verified by a KYC service. So if they are KYC, they're going to have a stamp of, of approval from a, a KYC or multiple KYC companies. That way there's some redundancy in case there is some malfeasance or some theft, whatever. Um, that third party can go to the authorities of the particular country or jurisdiction. Audits, same idea. If they're audited, that means that they've gone through a third party audit, typically of their contract, their code, the safety, security, stability, integrity, flexibility. There's all kinds of different categories inside the audit. This audit, something you can read, it's always publicly produced for investors to read through. Some of it's jargon that you may not understand, but they do a pretty good job um, of make, put where I'm from, they say, we, we say, put the, put the hay down low so the goats can get to it. That that's what I need. I need, I need country simple. So a lot of the audits are very simple to read, but you can ask questions. And that's, that's one reason why you'd never invest in, a, you know, alone. I tell people to invest in, in groups, you know, invest in a community, have an investment club, have a mastermind, be a part of a community where other people are bringing market intelligence to the table and they're willing to freely share what they've learned from their crash test dummy experiments with crypto. Is there a liquidity lock? Meaning, do the founders have access to a bunch of coins that they can dump on the market, sell and, and leave? Or do they have a one, two, three year lock that's going to provide more stability and less sell pressure? That's a big deal. Multi-sig requirements on the treasury. Does it require two, three, four people to sign off on large treasury deployments? Or can one single central founder just do whatever they want to with the money? It's a big thing to look into. Are they transparent in their rhetoric, in their public discourse, are they, are they emitting faults? Are they saying, hey, we thought this was going to work? It's not. What I love is when crypto founders are talking to the public the way they would do a board presentation or talk to their board of directors. They're, they're saying, hey, we're, we were going to do this. This, this, this didn't work. Here's some data points, A, B, and C. And now we're, and this goes to my last 
uh, point here. Do they demonstrate a willing or willingness? Um, I meant to say a willingness, uh, a willing ability to pivot. This didn't work. This is working. We're going to double down here. This is how we're going to grow the ecosystem, increase adoption, and get more price, uh, positive price action for, for our investors. Those things, they're, while they're not primary like the other things I've, I've led with there, these are important to look at. And sometimes these can be the Jenga puzzle piece to a good investment or a bad investment. If you pull that Jenga puzzle piece out of the bottom of the stack, the whole thing falls down. Um, you know, if they're a fraudster and they haven't been audited, they haven't been KYC'd and they're not publicly doxxed and you throw your life savings into it and you just didn't do your due diligence with this checklist that I've given you and they run off with the money, that's what happens. Because crypto... The idea about, about crypt cryptocurrencies is that the transactions are immutable. That means they can't be reversed, clawed back, or confiscated by central banks, central governments, or bad guys, okay? Um, the traditional banking system obviously has some mechanisms for that. Crypto doesn't, and that can be uh, abused by bad guys. And so that's why you need to measure your steps, move slowly through the market. Don't get in a hurry. Don't let FOMO and greed push you into an, into an instance where you're like, oh my gosh, if I don't make this, I'll never make money again. That's not true. There's always another opportunity. You're going you're gonna to manufacture your luck in crypto more times than not if you have a strategy and a framework to move forward with. Um, so are you guys with me is it are you interested in me talking to you about my overall investment strategy i just want to talk this through if you are if you're uh, I, i've been talking a lot so uh please tell me in the chat if this is helpful if this is something you want me to continue to dig into okay got a couple of yeses so my overall investment strategy just so you know it varies based on bull markets and, and bear markets i certainly behave differently and you should too in my opinion in a bull market versus a bear market. For example, in a bull market, you can spit in the wind and make money in 30 minutes in crypto. Like you can throw a thousand dollars into something and 30 minutes later, make pull $1,400 out in a bull market because they're just, it's like land of milk and honey. There's just, they're just, there is just funds flowing in because it's a bull market. There's, that's the reason why we're in a bull, you're, you would be in a bull market is because there's money flowing everywhere. Unless you just make really stupid decisions, which is possible, but it's a lot less possible in a bull market. Um, in a bear market, there's low liquidity. I've already talked about what low liquidity does, but it creates volatility. It creates exacerbated losses and capitulations. And so you're able to buy things that uh, are, are, at, are at, on bargain prices. Okay. So I always have a focus though on cash flow inside my portfolio, which is not something I've discussed today. Uh, it's something that I discuss with my members and what they get in, in my curriculum and my training. Um, cash flow is important because every business needs cash flow. And if you're on this call, it means that you're taking your personal financial future seriously. So why not treat your portfolio like a business? And that's what I thought through several years ago when I was getting into crypto. I thought, okay, how do I not be a slot machine gambler? How do I treat this thing like a business? And so I discovered the world of DeFi, decentralized finance, um, to help basically to pay myself daily. And the way that works is I'm just going to use random numbers. You could take $1,000 dollars put it into a yield farm or a crypto farm, which really just means you're adding a deposit into a decentralized financial investment. Uh, you're adding liquidity technically. You're a liquidity provider. And their smart contract takes that crypto funding, puts it in the treasury. The treasury goes out and earns money, brings the profit back to the treasury pool, and then redistributes via smart contracts to you and me, to our wallets, to our dashboards, wherever wherever the, the decentralized application wants it to go. And then we can harvest it daily, quite literally daily. And we can use those daily rewards then to dollar cost average into the things that we would buy and hold traditionally. 
You know, like I, I was just on a call with a gentleman from Minnesota. He's a big XRP believer. Okay, great. I am too. It's at 39 cents, I think. You know, is it going to go to 15 cents? Maybe. Am I going to be dollar cost averaging into that all the way down to 15 cents? Absolutely. What am I going to be using? I'm going to be using the money that I'm making in my DeFi investments to simply stack more accretive blue chips. Um, so that when liquidity, when the powers that be, the 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 Federal Reserve, the regulators, the 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 pension funds, the sovereign wealth funds, the the fidelities, the Black Rocks, the titans of financial industry decide to open the floodgates and permit exposure to crypto in their portfolios, then I'm going to be there with my small cap, mid cap, large cap cryptos that I've been dollar cost averaging into with my house money. Um, and I'm going to take profits and it's going to create a windfall and it's going to be awesome. And that's what I've done before. And that's what I'm going to do again. So right now, depending on when you're watching this, this is the time to be accumulating. We're in an accumulation phase and your portfolio needs a strategy. The one that I developed is called the crypto flywheel method or the, the flywheel strategy. And it's, it's what I was just explaining. It's cash flow, creating income streams inside your portfolio. Now, you can use your personal income as a, as a cash flow income stream, of course. But once you snowball and get that cash flow stream running, I mean, I've got some members making $2,000 a month. I've got some members making $10,000 plus dollars a month. Um, I think last month I did three, uh, on average, about $350 a month or a day. Um, in harvests, that all went into me buying Chainlink, Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, and Matic, and about 30 other coins that I have as, as a part of my, my altcoin bucket. I share my 32 coins every single Tuesday with my members. And that's, that, that's the, those, those 32 coins are a part of this part of the flywheel. This is where most people start and stay. But what I encourage is for people to integrate or implement a cash flow um, system that they can then roll down in here. Now, when you have cash flow, it gives you control over decision making. If you're making $200, $150, $12 a day in cash flow here, you can take it out of the flywheel if you want. You can go put it in a, another asset class. I've, I've been funding a whole life insurance policy over the last year. Um, there's all kinds of things you can do. You don't have to stay in the bubble of crypto. You can move outside as well. Um, but establishing this and acquiring the skills to do this is really like base camp number one for where you are right now, possibly. I don't know where you are, but if I'm talking to you and you don't have a cash flow income stream system, or you're not one of my members and you don't have access to the training and the community that, that they do, you need to go ahead and make sure you acquire that skill. That's an apparatus that will make your portfolio basically not, not necessarily self-fueling, but almost self, self-fueling, almost self-funding. Um, because the more this goes, goes up from this point in the market, the more leverage you're going to have to go buy more cash flow. And that's kind of the, that's, that's kind of the, the, the nuts and bolts of my overall strategy. Every single day I wake up with my portfolio, this is what's on my mind. I never leave this strategy. Um, this helps me not sabotage what I've been building so for so many years. Um, so um, how is this different? We start with some working capital like this. And we earn daily yield, and then we take that yield and we do whatever we want to with it. Like I said, I take it and I buy bargain blue chip cryptos with it. Maybe they're 5Xers, maybe they're 10Xers, maybe they're 50Xers, whatever. But that's that's the idea. That's the crescendo, all right? Are those of you who are not currently my members in here, is that something of interest to you? I'm very curious. Um, maybe if that's interesting to you, put yes or a number one in the chat box because I am I, I'm open to working with you um, and I'd like to ask if you'd like to work with me on your crypto strategy specifically um, to get a one-on-one -on -one setup call with me on Zoom okay 
uh, to get full access to my entire library of investment training uh, and to get access to what's in my portfolio, just so that you have the peace of mind of knowing, hey, I felt there's no such thing as failure to launch in my world. I want I'm there uh, to make sure my members uh, launch. If that's something that's of interest to you, I, I have an invitation for you. Uh, several of my members have gone through this that are on the call. Um, but if you're watching this and you're just like, yeah, I want to level up. I want to work with Josh. I want to be in his community. I want to see what they're doing. We have about 228 members in the Get Paid Daily cohort. Um, everybody's got skin in the game. We're sharing market intelligence with each other. Like I said yesterday, or yeah, day before I introduced that one coin at the beginning to several people, they're up 100% on their money uh, or more now. Uh, so it's really exciting to be a part of it. We invest together. That way you're not investing in a vacuum and you're just playing the guessing game or the, or the lottery. But so I've got an invitation, okay? My system is very valuable, uh, my program. Um, and so for, for five people on this call, I'm willing to work with you one-on-one -on -one, and I'm willing to stick my neck out uh, and take some risk. That is give you access to my strategy and what I call the proof of work package. Now, this total value of this package I'm about to show you is almost $20,000. I've calculated it just based on my hourly rates that I charge if I'm doing private consulting, et cetera. And I want to show you what you can have access to for as little as $1 today as a seven-day trial, okay? I've got a $1 seven-day trial to access the entire Get Paid Daily program. It includes my, my live cohort session, the simulated live cohort sessions. I have four core training sessions, about an hour, hour and a half long each. It's the most time that I'll ever ask from you to commit. Um, I'll do a one-on-one -on -one implementation call with you to set up your first crypto farm or your first uh, trading bot or your first passive income investment, whatever that is. Um, I'll help you with your storage wallet setup, like whether that be cold wallet or hot wallet. I'll walk you through the steps of what to do, how to do it, where to do it. Um, I'll give you a, a list of all my top passive income crypto investments from our community. So like that'll help you with research time and just narrowing in like what's working, what's not, what's up, what's the update. Um, I'll give you access um, at seasonally. I'll give you access to early investments. You get one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. Uh, I do all of the coaching calls. I do all of the interactions. You have full-time support from me. Uh, if you have, un you have unlimited support from me. If you have any questions, uh, I do a weekly live office hour coaching call with you and the other members to show you what's up, what's next and what's happening so that you don't get lost in the market shuffle. Um, that's live, but you can watch a recording if you want to. The list goes on portfolio design training, crypto bot trading uh, tutorials. Uh, you get access to my, um, my, my discord group which is where all of us talk all day long, every day uh, about crypto. And the way you get invested, well, my, my, this is my Discord group. Many people are uh, in this group. It's awesome. We have a blast. Let's see, I can't drag it for some reason. Oh, here we go. It's because I'm not, I'm, I'm just trying to share my Discord with you. Okay, here we go. So we're, we're, we're just having great conversations all the time, all day. Um, about different things. That's just the general chat. I have all these other channels where we have great um, conversations. This is me talking about that coin I was introducing in the in the um, earlier in the training. <laughs> Joe's calling me Nostradamus for calling it. But my point is, is that you can have a community to invest in. You can have almost twenty thousand dollars worth of value. But here's the catch: you're going to get a, a seven day trial. And I call it proof of work because I know some of you are like, yeah, this is some guy on the internet. Should I trust him? Okay, I get it. If you are one of those people, I want to give you a seven-day exposure window to see if I'm the real deal, see if our community is the real deal, see if we, if I really have a training area that you can log into, see if this is all a ghost town farce, okay? I'll give you seven days, $1 trial. Um, after that, your price is not 
$20,000. It's not 15,000. It's not 10,000. It's not even 5,000. I normally charge $5,000 for an annual membership, but after the $1 trial is over, you'll simply be elevated to a $2,500 discounted scholarship price. And that $2,500 charge will uh, hit the card that you use for the one, $1 trial uh, in seven days. Unless you get with me and say, hey, you're a bozo. None of this is weird. None of this is real. And um, you're, you're a fraud. And then I'll give you, I, I won't charge you the $2,500. And you can go on your merry way and have a have a good time with your crypto investing. But if you go to cryptoyall.co slash seven, um, that is going to, I'm going to also link to it here. It's going to give you full access today. Um, it's in the chat if you want to click on that. It's going to give you full access to everything in Get Paid Daily through my proof of work package. You're going to pay a dollar right now. You're going to enter in your billing information. You're going to pay a dollar. Okay. You're going to then set up a one-on-one -on -one call with me. We're going to get you set up. I'm going to get you set up. I'm going to email you after you pay the $1. I'm going to email you some next steps. And then you're going to set up a one-on-one -on -one call with me. And then after the seven days, if you don't see the abundant value of this robust membership, then you'll not be charged. Okay. Um, However, if you're pleased and you can see the value that these other 227 folks see, then your discounted price of $2,500 will be charged and that'll cover your entire year membership. Now, if you want to renew after the 12 months, it's only $997 for the following year because you got in on the proof of work package. And if you want to see testimonials, you can just scroll down, watch videos, read all that good stuff. It's all there. I don't know what else to tell you in terms of trust, um, but go to crypto y'all.co slash seven, the number seven and click on the green button and it'll take you down to the, to the billing and you can get started there. All right. Um, now I want to transition over to uh, questions that you might have also just so you, you, you can see it. Like this is the training area. Uh, once you're logged in, this is the access to all of the kind of the brain trust, the intellectual property of the Get Paid Daily members have access to. Um, but yeah, I want to I want to answer questions if you have them at this point. So I'm going to do my best to jump over to the chat uh, if I can get my Zoom window pulled up. I'm going to scroll back through. Feel free to drop any questions that you have. Uh, in the um, in the chat now, and I'll address those. Uh, okay, I don't see any questions yet. Okay, Jay, when do I get my one-on-one? -on -one? Hey, dude, um, email me back. I sent you a next step email. As soon as you're done with the uh, the, the steps, shoot me time. We just need to get it scheduled. Good question. Uh, Jay is a new member. Um, any other questions about the, the checklist or what we've covered so far today? How to pick winning cryptos. Was this helpful? Was this worth your time? Uh, tell me what tell me what you're missing. Tell me what you need at this point. Or do you just want to start a seven-day trial with me and we start working together one-on-one? -on -one? Um, either way, if you don't have questions, totally groovy. We can uh, we can work offline together. Um, Jay's getting his feet with. Fantastic. Awesome. Well, um, if there are no other questions, I hope to see you on a one-on-one -on -one implementation call very soon. And uh, if you have any questions, if 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 um if you if you if you are super interested but you just don't understand what I've put in front of you today, drop me an email, Josh at cryptoyall.co. Happy to talk things out with you uh, via email. Answer any specific questions you have. Uh, otherwise, go uh, to cryptoyall.co/seven. Do a one dollar payment. Get started. Get full access to everything, and uh, we'll we'll get you. We'll get you up and running in the cash flow part of the flywheel uh, within a business week. All right. Awesome to have you guys. Thank you so much for spending time with me and we'll talk really soon.
，拜拜。